Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going to hit a couple interesting science stories, Mars, ancient crustal motion, and magnetic induction of Earth's field. But we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, where, frankly, I was expecting little other than the waning away of the coronal hole-driven solar storm. We got a bit of that, but we did get a lot more the last few hours. Things seemed very quiet. Sunspots were silent. Plasma filaments were stable. Then a few hours ago, everything went ballistic, like someone hit the sun with a taser and it jumped to the ceiling. Southern blowout at the active region on the coronal hole periphery, then top left and off the right. A triple sympathetic eruptive sequence, not much of any is aimed at Earth, but several M-class solar flares were involved as well as filament eruptions. We'll be watching very closely today to see if that continues. Meanwhile, the solar wind is dying down as I mentioned. Peak speed was around yesterday morning's show, and we got minor geomagnetic storm conditions yesterday which are also waning back here this morning got eyes on all of it. Heading to seismicity next, top quake of the last day was a 6.2 deep in the Philippines. That's a blood echo down at the low velocity zone, which means reduced shaking up at the surface. Good news there. Up next, just a quick peek into a bit of a battle in astronomy. There are astronomers discussing the ancient rains and even blizzards on Mars, which they say happened billions of years ago. But also, there are teams showing how much the surface is changing over time, and they're getting very good at that. And if the planet actually has a changing surface, then when exactly were these rains and blizzards, and why is there still surface evidence for them? Honestly, I'm excited to see how that all plays out. But right now, let's go to an excellent look at the mantle heaving event that they say took 60 million years and brought Asia and Africa together. They say this is why they share similar animals and jungle habitats, but this is another one where the timeline is very questionable. Very questionable, but mantle heaving that created the land bridge is not. It is a core principle of how the Earth changes, especially rapidly during the Earth disaster cycles. This may have happened a bit more quickly than they imagine. Lastly, folks, excellent study on the induction potential of Earth's magnetic field, which they say is directly correlated to the Earth's rotation, the spin rate. More speed means more induction, and if the mainstream was correct about climate change slowing us down, that'd be a good thing, but we're here breaking speed records, speeding up rotation, so our future looks a bit different. Folks, this weekend we kick off the major schedule at Observer Ranch, grand opening, then astrophotography class next week, Kings of Catastrophe weekend after that, and lots of pole shift conferences and prepper days. Any way people stay at campgrounds, we'll make it work for you. Hope to see you at one of our events this summer. Would love to shake your hand. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.